Megan, I was going back through your old YouTube videos oh, yeah. and I saw <laughs> your first one and I was so impressed that even back then you had such good eye contact with the camera and like stage <laughs> presence. Were you nervous your first video? Do you remember? Um, you know, when it came to posting my first video, I think actually the whole creative process of it wasn't that bad because, you know, it was just me, a camera, and then my dad behind the camera, and I would perform for my parents all the time. So used to singing in front of them. Um, but I think it was a whole nother story, like posting the first video and kind of getting like comments and responses back. Um, that in itself was a whole nother ball game, but yeah, it's so interesting. <laughs> were you shocked whenever you got all the responses from your video, or were you expecting it? Oh my gosh, I was not expecting anything. Um, it definitely wasn't like an overnight thing. Um, you know, I posted a video, the, the first one you saw, the Use Somebody cover, and um, I got a little bit of a response, and then I just kept kind of posting covers here and there for uh, quite a few months, and then um, someone on YouTube reached out to me about doing a collab named Tyler Ward, and we ended up collabing on that's like my first collab video, hey. <laughs> done lots of those now, I've met lots of cool people through there. But um, anyways, uh, so we did a cover of Love the Way You Lie and it ended up going viral. So kind of that's what got things really going. And um, then, yeah, from then forward, it kind of became like a job to post videos because I had people waiting to see new videos from me. If somebody wants to get started in music, and they're a little nervous, what would you say? It all starts with, you know, putting yourself out there um, because I was the same way. I was really shy when I first started off and uh, just in general, I was a very shy person, like, especially like in music and just when it came to performing on stage. Um, but the more and more I did it, the more comfortable I became with it. And um, you know, if you're like in choir or something and you get opportunities to try out for solos, try out for those solos. If, you know, at the end of the year in my choir, we do like a pop show and we got the chance to audition to like sing your own like little solo song. So take those opportunities and just keep uh, keep doing what you're doing and continue to work on your craft. Um, that's something I have to remind myself of and I've actually kind of been regrouping and taking more time t to work on my craft and just develop it and you know, there's always so much room to grow. Under the tree at the top of the hill